Hello everyone and welcome to Firefall. Uh, yeah, under my last video I got the question what crosshair I'm using and if it's an add-on. And luckily I can tell you no, it's no add-on. It's um, a Firefall in-game feature. And I want to show you how um, you can activate it. As you can see at the moment I have the usual crosshair in some different colors outside the scope, but uh, it's the usual crosshair. I press escape to um, get to the options menu. Um, I use the interface writer and down here we got the crosshair manager in English. And here we got plasma cannon, bioweapon and so on. And down here we got the light sniper rifles and the sniper rifles. Uh, the light is the R36 and the sniper rifles is the bolt action and the charge rifle. And I'm on the Raptor so I'm using the charge rifle. So here we see uh, the usual sniper option. Um, I could choose the light sniper or a dot. I got only those, uh, yeah, three three opinions. But uh, yeah, I want the dot. And here we go. I got the dot. And also in scope, uh, I don't have those, uh, yeah, surroundings. I got a clear view. And yeah, you can also see my uh, charge bar. I changed it also, uh, but yeah, uh, the charge rifle is is very comfortable with this. But when you're using the Nighthawk, you get a problem. There's also no uh, scope, scope surroundings, and no information. And you have to wait between your shots. So when you fire one, you don't see when your next shot is ready. So you can use the dot, but uh, the Nighthawk isn't the best one for hipfire, so uh, you can stay there with the usual. And yeah, you can customize it as much as you want. Down here I got uh, some colors changed. This is the basic color, uh, as we saw in the middle it's yellow and the surrounding are uh, uh, red and yeah you should see what I what I'm talking about um yeah and the cast bar is down here the cast bar and it's the same name in here and I used yes show it uh, and some other options you can customize your whole interface about this um, yeah, then I come to the second part, installing add-ons. There are, yeah, some, some ways, some possible ways, some are, are using the curse client. I don't use the curse client, I'm doing this uh, complete on my own. And when you're using Windows 7, you go to C, users, your username, documents and firefall. The firefall ordner uh, uh, folder is created automatically and in here you have to create another folder called add-ons. As you can see I already have some in here but uh, I want to update my loot tracker and yeah now I show you where I get my add-ons. I'm using firefall.curseforge.com link is down in the description and yeah there are also really old add-ons let's go to page 3 and here you can see there are add-ons from 2013 and yeah they are they made or they probably won't work <laughs> um, but you can sort them update it and I want to update my loot tracker and we see one day ago so uh, I go to the loot tracker have some informations and stuff, but I only want to download it. Firefall is really slow at the moment. Yeah. Um, yeah, and down here I got the file name. It's the 1.14 version. Yep, save it. Now I got here the loot tracker.
and inside is the loot tracker version 1.14 uh, is another folder called xloot tracker and there are all those subfolders in here so copy this and then we need another folder our add-ons folder we've been let's delete this one and insert the new version now you have to restart the game I won't do this now but uh, I show you what will change also again the options and you will get a new writer called add-ons and in here we got the free folder you saw the boing LFG like a boss and the xloot tracker and here you got all yeah, the options you can choose on the add-ons um, if you're not using Windows 7 there is another option um, again this is only Windows 7 you can also install the add-ons inside your firefall client um, the path is yeah where you installed your firefall client and inside the firefall client I'll uh, also copy the link or the path into the description it's inside the firefall folder system GUI components main UI and here you can create a folder called add-ons and this is basically the same like this one but when you're using Windows 7 use the own documents folder part because then you will get the own add-on writer and when you're using um, the path into the Firefall installation folder the add-ons um, don't have its own writer um, they will stay below here so every add-on on its own will stand down here but doesn't doesn't matter you have also all the options to change f by the add-ons um, yes that's that's where the, those two um, things I wanted to talk about how to change your crosshair uh, oh yeah uh, there are also crosshair add-ons available let's let's go back um, yeah down here we got uh, really new crosshair add-on and so and stuff and also in the Firefall forums uh, you can find crosshair add-ons if you want to change them to something the game don't, doesn't offer you okay yeah uh, now <laughs> that was it the, those two things I wanted to talk about changing crosshair and installing add-ons uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed this episode and <laughs> learned something new and yeah, now I wish you an awesome day.